Now, one thing I did not check was what our environmental score is on those two soybean fields that we just completed. So I think I will take a look at that once we're done spraying this field. So, drive to there and engage the, uh, the thing, engage cruise control and that will spray down that line. Meanwhile, that field is 17 up, now that has a bad nitrogen level. That's 93, that's 100. We're, yeah, I think. I forgot to spray that field last year when we planted the canola in it. And that's, that's all on me. I completely screwed that up. These other fields, we're not doing too bad. I'm kind of surprised the field with all the rocks in has, has got such a good score. Because obviously the uh, pH in that field just... Oops, not the greatest. And we'll take another look at that one. See, this field I expected to be 100. This one is down, and it's down because the thing at the bottom and the thing there. And if we look at both of those, that's pH. So we're not actually getting penalised on the pH for that field too badly. And then tillage, because we didn't control whether it was direct drilled or not. This one... Oh, what happened there? Again, pH. We bought this field. It had a really bad um, pH level. So when we harvested it, yeah, we can't control that. We bought it when the crop was on it, so just you just have to live with it. Our fields, we can always make sure they are at the best level. So the field across the way, we're going to have to do nitrogen on that. And then we'll put, as I said, we'll, I've changed my mind. I'm going to put canola in it. It's going to mean there's going to be at least one canola field that is harvested after all the others. And I try and make it so that we harvest all the fields with the same crop in at the same time, unless we purchase a field with a crop in, in which case we have absolutely zero control over it. Okay, going to have to run down here because there's a little bit at the top there. So this is our first canola field. This is now weeded. Weed control is maxed out. Um, which is good. I may do some experimenting over the coming years and obviously not this year and see if there is a difference between um, weeding and um, the other thing that you do um, spraying herbicide and using a weeder when it comes to yield within precision farming um, the issue is obviously base game use a weeder if you can if you missed the weeding opportunity because usually you had um, a direct drill on and direct drills uh, cultivate two levels of weeds rather than one so you have to use a hoe um, but either a weeder or a hoe will give you the best yield. If you have to use herbicide, then it injures the crop, so you get less out. Uh, that field to our left needs rolled. Is the Massey Ferguson rolling at the moment? I think it is. I forget. Get out of my way. So, so yes, yeah, so I'm, I am wondering if 
spreading herbicide on the field while it gives us a maxed out environmental score so we get the best financial boost for all of the things we sell it's not necessarily doing the best job for yield and so that might be a, a thing we need to consider and I have no problems in um, maybe eventually buying a, um, a thing that does stuff, um, a hoe, and hoeing these fields for weeds. We, yeah, we, we've, oops, we've got the time here to just come out to this field and run a hoe over it. <coughs> the crop's not too well established. The weeds are kind of established, but they're not too far gone. And then we just come out and drive on the field for 100 yards with this set up will maximise our environmental score and maybe get a slight bonus in yield. However, I'm not sure that's a thing. And we'll see, probably see that a little bit later anyway. Let us get that lined up, get that turned on, get that turned on. Set A, and we are still heading north-south. Turn on the GPS. Okay. So again, this is going to be a fairly easy job running up and down the field. So we'll kill all the weeds here. I wonder... So one of the things I'm Those thinking all bunnies. of a sudden is maybe I unload the herbicide, I go out and get fertilizer loaded in this. I can, f well, I don't know, I could fertilize next month. Yeah, it's, it's a thing. We're going to have to fertilize all our fields, but if I get all our fields planted in September, I could just run out with a fertilizer in October, fertilize all the fields. It's just that the cereal crops will have weeds in them. I could do that a little bit later. Or I can just come out with a fertilizer, do this now, get these fields completely done. And if I get these fields completely done, then I don't have to worry about um, coming back to these fields until harvest time next year. Mommy, I think I'm gonna get a shoe. You need socks? Oh yeah, I forgot I need socks. You need socks. Okay, so it should get a little bit quieter as the kids are going outside. What is the time? 11 o'clock. Easter honey. I don't know what's inside. It's probably money in some. It's probably money in. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to raise that to get yeah. over the hedge. She probably has cane in her wallet and she's saving it so we don't see it. And also money in it so we don't okay, see that. So, okay, so. Like I said, chopping these hedges down is definitely on our list of things that I might consider doing. And as I said, I might do that off camera between weeks. And we have 13,000. This is the point I usually look and say, oh, we've only got 13,000 money left. Well, that's fine. We just bought ourselves an absolute ton of uh, seed. I can find my other shoe. I'll open your coat. I'll get around your coat. So, we've got manure to spread. I'm kind of good with getting this job done today. Um, I'll worry about the spreading of manure. But I don't Maybe next week. On stream with the uh, John Deere, and I may deal with some of the uh, the thing. Um, I'm gonna. I hope I get that golden one. 
Yeah, sorry. I may set up that for next week's stream. We'll we'll finish off all the stuff we have to do on on our fields. We have mowing there. Although we could could set the John Deere off on that, but I yeah yes and no. The problem is is I also need to um, do the do the thing um, bail it as well. So I usually do that with a mower, baler, follow me option. Hush for a minute. Hush for a minute. Open higher the market can reach. I remember where you hide them, so don't lose any. So, uh, we're going hunting Easter eggs. That would be a thing. So you both have to stay in here where I can see you. I'll keep eyes then. Oh, are we doing it in the front and the back? So, anyway, so Easter egg hunt is getting set up. Are we doing it in the front or in the back? Yeah, I... Okay, you guys can look. I like the ability to do lots of fields. Like the, ability to do lots of fields. the the problem is, is a lot of our fields have those uh, close tree lines that just get my get in the way of everything. So I'm kind of I'm kind of good with a smaller one. It doesn't really matter whether I have a big one or a small one. It's going to use the same amount of product for the same area. It's just that it's going to take me longer driving up and down this field with a small beam than it does with a big one. And we're going to hit that. Seriously, you're going to do something with those things. She might come She might come in if we don't look in. Okay, so. But it's not too bad. We'll be done with this shortly. Um, Kind of thing. I need. Okay, we need the manure truck next week. So John Deere is going to be on that. Um, we do have fertilizer spraying that we can do in this tractor. We're going to be mowing. We need the John Deere for that. Uh, the Massey Ferguson can do baling, so that's good. I could mow and bale that field in front of us quite easily. But because of the follow me aspect, I have to do it manually. I can't let a worker off on it. I don't think we do. Um, we'll we'll, we'll get that nice done. So, mowing. We've done the weeds. Had a for now. And then you could, we can, uh, she would say it. We can do the other thing. Uh, fertilizer has to be done with the with the doits because it's the only one with narrow wheels. How? How? And crop sensors. But I can also use this to start seeding the other stuff. The last two fields. Did I plant a field of oats yet? I can't remember. I think I did. Yeah. We'll figure it out as we go. Yeah. Anyway, let's. I think we've got probably two or three more passes on this field. How's the service? See, we're only down to 491. We are really not using a lot of herbicide here, so that's. That's, that's a good deal. And then after that, we will. We'll look at some other stuff. I think we're rolling in the next field over, and I think it's it's having issues. Um, so again, it's taking over from the worker because it's stuck. Well, that's fine. Wait, so, that's, this is like an is that the last field we need to roll for now? Wait, did you I guess we'll look. Yep. 
Yes. Raise it, raise it. Oh, yes. And we're going to have an ice cream party or a pizza party. Well, oh, that already passed, Mommy. I want a pizza party. Is it really No, sometimes I get a real desire for having a pizza. On a but then when well, the pizza comes, it's there. like, yeah, but I don't want this a pizza. pizza party or ice cream party. Oh, hello, Mr. Postman. Mr. I'll miss his postman. What's the postman doing? Oh! Parking in our driveway. That's why you can't see the postman. Huh? We are expecting a bubble. I've ordered an electronic um, leveller, so uh, that's due to be delivered today. And I think some tomato soup is due to be delivered today. Why did you buy tomato soup, Daddy? Because I like tomato soup. Oh. Oh. Yes. And chicken gravy? Chicken gravy's coming before the end of next month. <laughs> Why did you buy chicken gravy also, Daddy? Because we don't have any. And we like to have gravy on our chicken. The, okay, it's up there. Don't look in my baby. Don't look in the No, that's not her. That's the delivery person. No, she's right there. Where? Don't look. Don't look, look at her. But it was too late. She'd already been moved. So yes, yesterday Mrs. Osa's PC blew up. Yeah, was well, just there was a loud pop. And this came and up. It stopped working, and the battery started beeping. Now we thought the battery had gone, so I ordered some replacement batteries for our UPS. But it seriously looks like. Seriously, looks like the UPS is still working, but the PC power supply blew up. So we're gonna have to. Uh, we took it into a PC service store, and they should be looking at that on a Monday. But uh, we did get a couple of batteries that we don't now need. However, our UPSs are a little bit. Old. Mine's already broken had to have the batteries replaced. Right. Uh, Mrs. Osa's not. Right. No so, uh, Go. it's, I'm kind of thinking it's a good plan to have replacement batteries just in case we need to replace them on the UPS systems that we have. So, we'll see how that works out. But, as for now, Mrs. Osa doesn't have her main PC. Which caused a little bit of a problem with our TV today because apparently when you authorize access to an account, a streaming service, from your PC for one of the devices you have in the house, um, that PC has to keep reaffirming that your um, device is still authorized. And so when we tried to use Hulu this morning, I believe. It said, oh, you don't seem to be authorised. Um, and I think that's because Mrs. Osa's PC is not plugged into anywhere to tell Hulu that, yes, that piece of equipment is still authorised. I have connected to Hulu with my PC, and now the uh, device is authorised. Please fold up. Thank you. So, spraying done. Let's go. Let's go jump in the Massey Ferguson and uh, finish off the rolling. Oh, you have done a. Um, you have done a job. Is it a good job? Don't know. Is it um, 
job that I have to take over. Yes, so let us. Straighten that up there. And roll it back. Here now. Okay. Why didn't that. Did we not plant that bit? That is seriously looking like we missed a bit when planting. Ooh. Looking at the map, where is. Over here. Yep, we didn't plant that bit with barley. We also didn't plant a couple of bits along there with barley, so I guess it is what it is. But too late now because we're rolling, so gonna have a pat couple of patches with no crop. That means we're gonna have a couple of patches with very high nitrogen levels because once we come back and do the nitrogen it's um, it's not gonna get depleted because there's no crops. Okay, let us, as I said, this edge is also going to be an issue. Because I didn't park it far enough over. And oh look, how nice, we are in a clean tractor. Oh, this, uh, this tractor is getting... I mean, didn't I just fix this? 100%, it's now down to 94. I found the golden egg, Mommy. Mm. I was there, but I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. Yeah, but it's not there. Yeah, it's not there. Yeah, it's not there. Yeah, it's not there. Yeah, it's not there. So that kind of shows that. And we have uh, equipment wear turned down, so it's not costing us the full amount, it's not wearing out at the, uh, the base game speed. So that shows us how significant the rate at which equipment gets damaged. Staying us far enough away from the uh, the trees that we're not actually hitting them, so that's good. I think what I'm going to do here is just roll it straight to the corner again. This, the roller is slightly not wide enough for this field. We're certainly getting around this, so... I don't actually know if we're struggling here or not. I think 12 kilometers an hour is about roller speed, so we're doing okay. I did want to look to see how much horsepower the big roller, or the bigger roller, I'm not going to get because that's going to get in. Again, same argument with the sprayer. It's not going to reach, it's, it's going to allow us to do the job quicker, but it's going to get wrapped up in trees if I'm not careful. The further something is away from your steering um, or your vehicle, the uh, the less easy it is to control where it's going. This tree here is just right there. Okay, we're good. And catch that edge. I think I didn't plant this corner either. Yeah.
Okay, turn as hard as I can. Keep that away from the fence. And we are all good there. Okay, so we are having issues with the edges of the fields. I was considering, especially in the fields which now have barley, um, clearing a small sort of dirt area using the paintbrush uh, between the crop and the, the, the grass so that we're able to mow it and create whole crop silage. So again, maybe when I'm removing tree oh, hedges and replacing them, I might um, adjust the field edges as well. Especially, as I said, just in the fields with barley. Because those are the fields I'm going to... If we could mow the edge, that would be a good thing. But at the moment, I'm harvesting the edge because the harvester won't pick up grass. And then that's giving me enough room for um, the mowers to mow whole crop without getting it adulterated with grass as we go round. Okay, I think I'm going to need to do that again. So we'll create a second headland. And then I could do uh, a worker off on this again. But, uh, and then we could get back in 